The market breaks above the 200-day moving average. Is the bull market back? That's coming up on 3 Minutes on Markets and Money. Last Wednesday, following Jerome Powell's speech, the market broke above the 200-day moving average in a big 3.1% advance day. Thursday, markets kind of moderated a bit, touched the 200-day moving average on a little bit of a sell-off. Friday, following a much stronger than expected payrolls report, which suggests the Fed will have to remain much more aggressive on hiking rates. Markets actually broke back below the 200-day moving average, but rallied back by the end of the day to finish almost unchanged. But that provided a successful test of that 200-day moving average. Now, again, what we're watching for here is that if this 200-day moving average resistance, which has been resistance all year long so far, is going to be turned into support, we need this retest of the markets and we need the market to now break out to the upside to suggest that this market's got some more room to run here, at least in the short term. Now, this morning, futures are opening a little bit weaker. Interest rates are coming up a bit. The dollar continuing to decline here. And this is the one thing that has been a support of the markets lately. It's been a weaker dollar, stronger market, right? So as the dollar weakens, we've seen the markets going up. If the dollar's getting stronger, it's been stronger dollar, weaker stocks. And so back here, we had a, a much stronger dollar moving up here. Now we've got a weaker dollar helping support higher asset prices, at least in the short term. Now, again, there's a lot of bullish kind of technicals that are going on here. The 20 day has now firmly crossed above the 100 day moving average. We have a decent deviation now between the 50 day and where we are currently with the market. So again, expecting a little bit of a pullback, some softness here over the course of the next you know, couple of weeks wouldn't be surprising here. But again, you know, we're kind of watching this market develop. This bottom line trend line continues to remain very much intact here, keeping this bullish trade going, as well as the fact that we are trending in this very tight consolidation range, but this rising kind of bullish wedge going on here. So again, if the market can break out to the upside, certainly doesn't limit the upside move here. Again, our target right now for the market remains 41, 4,200. So you know, again, there's, there's some room here for the markets to work in the short term. So we want to kind of keep that you know, uh, positioning in place at the moment. But again, if you've been overweight a lot this year, this is the time right now moving into the year, do your tax loss harvesting, use this rally to kind of rebalance your portfolio risk. I suspect that with our MACD buy signal now very elevated, markets overbought and extended on you know quite a few different indicators that at some point here we are going to get a bit of a pullback here to to retest at least some level of support here to work off some of that overbought condition that will likely provide a much better entry point assuming of course this is assuming that this is the bottom of the markets now as we move into next year that's very questionable and we're certainly going to be talking a lot more about that in the next few weeks as we get ready to move in the next year. Next week, Jerome Powell is likely going to try to knock this rally down a bit because these, these stock market rallies ease financial conditions, exactly the opposite of what they want. So taking some profits here, reducing some risks certainly seems advisable going into that meeting. And then of course, we've got the end of the year potentially for that Santa Claus rally. That might be a decent trading opportunity. We'll keep you up to date on this every day with three minutes on markets and money, which you'll find right here at realinvestmentadvice.com.